Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install Apache Tomcat on your system. So let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and here just type Tomcat download. Now here you can see official website tomcat.apache.org. So I will be clicking on this link welcome page. Here you can see different downloads are available. So here we have uh, Tomcat 11, Tomcat 10, 9 depending on your requirement you can download. I will be downloading Tomcat 10 and now here it's showing me that Tom, in Tomcat 10 this Java X uh, dot star has been replaced by Jakarta dot star. So wherever you will be using uh, Java X dot solid uh, you can replace that Jakarta by solid. And here it's showing me different binary distribution. So we have a zip file, tar file and then 32 bit uh, Windows zip file. Uh, 64 and here we are having windows service installer so this is msi file for 32 as well as 64 bit so i'm going to select this msi file and guys you can see my download has been started so it will not take much time and you can see the download is done i will click on this exe let me minimize my browser and here i'm going to click on next button and on this license and agreement, I am going to click on I agree. And here I will be clicking on this host manager as well as example. And then click on this next button. And now here it is showing me uh, HTTP connector port. So my Tomcat will run on 8080 port number. Um, if he, this port number is already occupied, you can change later on. So let's keep the default one. And this Tomcat will run with the name Tomcat 10 under my Windows services. Okay, so now here I am going to click on next button. And this is a location of my Java. So whatever Java is installed, it will directly fetch that. So it required JVM, hence it is selecting this Java location. Then click on next button. And this is the destination folder where your software will be installed. So it will go under C colon program files, Apache software foundation, Tomcat 10. I need to just click on this install button to install this Tomcat. Okay guys, so you can see my installation is done. And here it's showing me run Apache Tomcat. Also it's showing me readme file. I'm going to just uncheck this uh, show readme and then I will click on finish button. Okay, so it is starting your Tomcat services. Okay guys, so you can see my Tomcat services has been started. So you can see in my system tray, it's showing Tomcat 10. So if I right click on this, I will get option for exiting, configuring, starting and stopping this Tomcat services. Yes, you can see here. So this means my uh, server has been started. You can go to your Windows services and you can see there also this services are running. So what I'll do, I'll just go to my uh, Windows services. So in search box, I'm just typing services. And here now it has started my Windows services and you can see I'm getting the option Apache Tomcat 10 so which is nothing but my Tomcat server running and here you can see the option it is showing me running and here left side it's showing me option for stop and restart Tomcat. So sometimes it happens you are creating web project but your uh, project is not running so you can come here and check whether your Tomcat server is running or not. Unless your server is running you can't run your web project. Okay so guys in my next video I will be showing you how you can configure your ID uh, with uh, this uh, Tomcat. Also I will be showing you how you can uh, create Java double project. So I hope guys by following my videos you are able to successfully install Tomcat on your system. So guys if you like my video do hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries. And guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching my video till end. I'll see you in my next video. Till that bye bye and take care.